We're gonna just check and make sure that you don't have a weapon, all right? Hands up, hands up, hands up! Get your hands up, get your hands up, get your hands up! Officers were responding to a robbery call on August 3rd. They spotted two men who fit the suspect's description. Officers What's told them on, to keep their hands out of their pockets and put their right. hands up. Both listened until Bailey took off. His hands were near his waistband. Officers pulled their guns and fired. We counted eight shots. An autopsy report found four bullets hit Bailey, three in the back and one in the arm. Once he was down on the ground, bleeding and in handcuffs, police searched him and they did find a gun. Bailey's family and their attorneys saw the video for the first time today. Nine News reporter Jennifer Meckles is live in Colorado Springs tonight with reaction from the family and the community as well. Jennifer. Kim, there was a lot to digest after the Colorado Springs Police Department released this video today. And the attorney for Bailey's family says they're devastated. It's been a uh, crushingly difficult day for the Bailey family, as you might imagine. While loved ones gathered in Colorado Springs to grieve Devon Bailey. His uh, funeral is tomorrow and there's a wake today. Attorneys for Bailey's family reviewed the police body-worn camera video. We were given access to it at the same time you were. What's going on today? Mr. Bailey was trying desperately to flee from the police and he did not have a weapon in his hand and had not shown any weapon. Uh, when he was shot in the back and killed, shot multiple times. So we got a report of two people. The family's attorneys do not dispute Possibly that police gun, later right? found a gun on Bailey, ways. but they argue he was never threatening to use it. The police appear to argue that they shot Mr. Bailey because they feared that he was uh, uh, going for a gun at the time. Uh, we think the video shows otherwise. The video shows that he was doing everything within his power in the six or eight or ten steps that he could take to get away. There are neighbors, community members, and activists who have seen this video and feel the same way. It's not justified. It's not justified what happened to him. He was scared. And they didn't find out that he had a gun. They didn't see it till he was already down. He was already bleeding. I'm disturbed. Like, just thinking about, like, this is happening all over the country. And we see it all over the country but now it's happening in our backyard. While prosecutors review the evidence in this case, a memorial for Bailey still sits at the site of the shooting and visitors continue to come by and pay their respects. Now there is a process for investigating officer involved shootings. In this particular case, the neighboring agency, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, will review what happened that day between the Colorado Springs police officers and Devon Bailey. Then, as of today, they've handed that over to prosecutors, the 4th Judicial District. Prosecutors will review the evidence and make a decision about whether or not the shooting is justified. They told us today that could take three to four months. But the Bailey family is calling for something different. They'd like to see an independent investigation. They'd like to see the state attorney general involved in this and they'd like to also see a grand jury review this evidence and make a decision. Guys. And Jennifer, while they were with the, at the wake today, they have been saying they really want this story out there, so they were fine with their attorney speaking on this day. Yes, I met with the family about a week ago and at the time and continually through the day today with the attorney speaking on their behalf. They want attention on their son's case. They want people to see what's going on. They want people to see this video. They've been asking for its release and now it's here today released to the public. All right. Thank you, Jennifer.